The chamois is shorter, or we'll say in this case, softer than the hat. Okay? This word than means that you are really making a comparison. How about a word like confusing? What would you say? Confusing then. Mm, not confusing then. Well, that's part of it. You have to put one more word in there. Confusing. 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 Good. More confusing than. How about a word like tasty? Tastier. Good. Tastier than. Okay. How about a word like comfortable? Comfortable. More comfortable than. More comfortable than. Does that make sense there? Are we getting it? How about a word like heavy? We'll let Lair answer, okay? What's the answer for this one? Heavy is heavier than you. Heavier than, heavier than me, yes. What is heavier than me? This board? No. no? Oh, this thing, yes. Yes, the backstop, <laughs> yes, would be much heavier than me. That's true. How about this word, tall? You're taller than me? I'm taller than you? Maybe. Why don't you stand up? We'll see. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I am taller than you. But what if I'm like this? Then what? Then what am I? Then I am smaller than you. That's right. Oh, well, then, then I'm taller than you. And nobody can see us anymore. We're too small. How about a word like... Hmm... Light. Lighter. Lighter than... Okay, good. So what can you tell me about the towels then? What can you tell me about the towels, Lair? What can you tell me? The, the towel is 6, 75. Okay. The small towel is 3 dollars. Okay, so let's use one of, these, one of these words then. The towel is... Is what? Softer. Softer. Softer than? than? Uh, the towel. The other towel. The other small towel. The other small towel? How about, how about for price? More expensive. Which one? The first towel yeah. is more expensive yeah. than the second towel. Okay, good. All right. Um, why don't I have... Two, can you come up here for a moment? Do you remember thick and thin? This is thin and this is thick. What can you tell me about these two books? Uh, thick and thick. Thick and thin. So if you're comparing the two, what would you say? Thicken. Thicker. Thicker. Good. This book is... Thicker than this small book. book. Than the small book. Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Sar, why don't I have you come up here for a minute? Mm. Okay. What can you tell me about these two things? Marker. Mm hmm. Is? Water uh, butter. Okay. This one is free, not free. This one is? Free. Okay. Free? What would you say in terms of price? price yes, if this is free and this is 10 cents, which is cheaper? This is cheaper. Then? The uh, bottle water. Good, the water bottle. So the marker yes. is cheaper than water the bottle. water bottle. Okay. Lair, how about I have you come up here? Come on up. Okay, what can you tell me about this towel? The towel is free and the free part is uh, not free. It is not free? No, it's true. What can you tell me about if you compare the birdhouse first? The birdhouse is uh, the Mm-hmm. What can you, if it's expensive, what would you say? This one is cheaper. It's cheaper than the birdhouse. Right. Or... What's another way of saying this? 
More expensive than. Which more? Which is more expensive than? Birdhouse. The birdhouse is more expensive than the towel. Okay. Now, why don't you? Can you touch this for a minute? Yeah. Okay. What? What is this? Is this rough or what is this? Can you give me another describing word? About touch. How does it feel? Rough, that's right. And how about this? How about the towel? You remember? Soft. Soft, that's right. So what can you tell me about the birdhouse? The birdhouse is rough. The towel is soft. Good. You could say the birdhouse is rougher, rougher than the towel. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, then what I'd like you to do now, maybe just as a group, you can come around the table and start pointing things out to each other. So you could say, hmm, the chamois is softer than, hmm, the birdhouse. Or you could say the chamois is... Well, if it's two dollars and the birdhouse is five twenty-five, you could say the chamois is what? More expensive. More expensive? Yeah. Two? The chamois? No, no. More expensive? Cheaper than. Cheaper than the birdhouse. Yeah. Okay. So let's take some time. You can take a look at the things on the desk, and we will continue. It doesn't cost money. It doesn't cost money, so it's zero, and this is. $75. $75. So this is very, what's the word? It's expensive. Expensive. So this book is cheaper, cheaper than, than this book. Right. Okay, Lair. What can you tell me about these shorts and this hat? The hat is $2. $2. $2. Okay. And, and the pen is free. Is free, okay. So what can you tell me about them? The hat is... It's more expensive than the pen, the pen is cheaper. Right, pants are cheaper than the hat. What about size? The hat is small and the pen is free is small. Okay, so use one describing word to compare the two. The hat is... Can anyone help? What would you say? If you want to start with the hat and talk about size. What is the hat? The hat is... Smaller than... Smaller than... The pants. Right. Okay. And these are actually shorts on me, and they're like big pants on Lair. Look at that. All the way down to his shoes. Okay. How about this chamois and this, uh, this towel? Which is, which is softer? Towel. The towel you think is softer? Okay. Yeah, the towel is softer. Okay, so what would you say? The towel softer than softer than than the chamois, right? Okay. I think we'll end it there. So remember, if we have one syllable, and sometimes if we have two syllables, we use er then. If we have one, two, three syllables or more, so three syllables, four syllables, five syllables, big words, we use more than. Okay. Well, let's wrap up. What did we learn today? Well, we learned how to use one describing word to compare two things. We learned to say something is softer than another thing or cheaper than another thing. And we learned that there is a rule for when you use ER and when you say more than. Do you remember what that rule is? The rule is how many syllables the word has, and if there are two syllables, 
it makes a difference if it ends in an E sound. Then we would add ER. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that and understood that. I would like to ask you to do one more thing. In the room where you are, you can practice this with your friend. Take a partner and look around the room. I'm sure there are many things in your room and you can compare them using these describing words. You could say, for example, the desk is taller than the chair. Or you could say, the floor is darker than the wall. You and your friend can take turns comparing things using one adjective, one describing word. Well, I know I can do that now. I can say that this lesson is longer than the last lesson. This is English Without Limits. I'm Doug Sadler. Have a good day.